This is Earl Amin with the 2024 Side Podcast, where CEOs of small to global companies share their insights. It is six questions in nine minutes because top CEOs know how to listen and be concise. So let's get to it. Question number one, in just a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Eddie Austin, and I'm the CEO and founder of the uh, Oprah Education Group. We're a UK-based multi-branded specialist of services into state schools within the UK, predominantly supply or substitute teachers. And we're an investor-backed business, which means that we're quite aggressive uh, in, in our approach to growth, both organically and through acquisition. Excellent. Question number two. What's the best thing about being the CEO? The best thing about being a CEO is firstly, you get the opportunity to do uh, programs like this, which is great, but also you you get to live your compelling story. You get to live your dream as an entrepreneur. uh, You you get to be tested, you get to be challenged, and and you get to build the strongest and the greatest colleague group that you can. And and also you can learn by your mistakes. You know, being, you know, the great thing about CEO is that you hold yourself accountable and I think that's one of the greatest things you can be, being honest and truthful with yourself and your team. Excellent. Question number three. I hear from other CEOs that leading their teams and being able to see the road ahead can be a challenge. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I have a very clear thought on this in that for me, it's about vision and purpose. If there is clarity around your vision and your purpose, and you're able to communicate this effectively, then ultimately you'll be able to generate and create the culture that allows everybody to share in the vision. And often I hear from our own, our own guys within our business and other businesses I support that people need to understand what part of that vision do they own. So by having the clarity and, and aligning that to the purpose, it shouldn't be that difficult. And that's the one area that I would always ask CEOs to be really, really clear about. Um, that should remove the frustration. Excellent. Yeah, what you see and why. Yes, very good. Question number four, what piece of insight do you want to share with other CEOs? Yeah, I think given the environment that we're in, I think it's important to share your insights around best practice, particularly with the the COVID um, environment that globally we're all affected by. And and as a business, we, we chose this period to not only... Uh, revisit our vision and our purpose but it was our, our, our single biggest area of investment in that we ma- we made sort of three sort of we had three strategies firstly we support and protect the business and that's by working with our colleagues secondly we we had to build in resilience and liquidity uh, and we did that by making sure we had enough cash in the bank and our investors and our banks were on board with us and thirdly and most importantly we took control of our business back because where we weren't able to trade actually remembering what we did. So as CEOs, I think it's important to make sure that those three areas are aligned perfectly. Um, And it worked. Actually, what we saw was as we came back out of the the COVID period in September of 2020, is that we we were trading same time last year by 15%. It's because we invested and we invested because we actually had faith in our business. I want to go back to that vision and purpose. We understood the journey that we were undertaking and, and we spent and we, and we didn't buy a way out of it, but we spent to make a sustainable business um, for the future because we wanted to protect and to serve our customers and our colleagues within the business. It's an important thing to do the three areas, support, protect, resilience, liquidity, and make sure that you can take control of your business again to operate functionally. Well said, well said. Question number five, what other successful CEOs like yourself would you like to acknowledge and should be on my podcast? Well, I, I thought long and hard about this question and, and I would like to sort of nominate or recommend one of your fellow countrymen. It's uh, Dr. Dr. Bob Slavin. Dr. Bob Slavin is, is the principal leader for Success for All in the US and he's also an eminent professional within uh, at Johns Hopkins. And, and the reason I nominate uh, Bob is that I've worked alongside Bob and his, and his, and his, his uh, partner, Nancy, his wife, Nancy Madden, and, and they are motivated by impact and in terms of numeracy and literacy in the most challenging of inner city areas. 
that they globally recognize as the people that make the biggest single difference within our young cohorts of students and young adults. And they work across a demographic that I think in the US you would call the Rust Belt areas. We would call them inner city challenged areas. And his program reaches worldwide. And I think more people need to understand that this is a US based initiative that's making an impact globally. Yes, very familiar with them and the organization. Excellent. Agreed. Yeah. Excellent. All right, now for question number six, the final question. How do you celebrate a win? Um, well, firstly, we do, we smile, because that, that's the most important thing. Um, and we, we, share that, we share that win with the colleagues in the business, so we communicate that win to every single person in the business. Um, again, going back to if it's part of the vision, then it's important for colleagues to understand that vision is being delivered on. Um, and then without sounding too sort of uh, emotionless, we, we prepare for the next win. We identify what that win was about. We identify how we could have done that better. Um, and then we operationalize it. But we, we, we enjoy, um, you know, and there'll be many colleagues that will raise a glass or two, some, some more than they should do. But, um, you know, we do. We build on that as part of our foundations for success. Hill. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Eddie, it's been a pleasure having you on. Tell me, how can people find you? They can find uh, me at uh, Open Education Group here, here in the UK or through, through my LinkedIn profile. Excellent. This is Earl Amin with the 2020 Foresight Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and search for The Gray Owl Company. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you.